to continue with um, our um, plenary session, I have the pleasure and the honor to invite our next keynote speaker onto the stage. Um, His Excellency Dmitry Shetko, the first Deputy Minister of Communications and Digitalization of Belarus, is here with us. Dmitry, please join me on stage and deliver your keynote speech. Thank you. Buenos dias, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure for me to participate in such an established conference, and I'd like to thank the organizers for providing me an opportunity to address you with a short speech about my country and about our vision of our future. So uh, you can see on this uh, screen some figures about my country. You know, the, uh, the Belarus is a post-Soviet country and a country in the Eastern Europe. It's not very big. It's not very rich, but we believe, we strongly believe, that the future of our economy and the future of our society is digital. So uh, we have made several steps on, this, on the level of the state to provide the digital agenda for our country. We know that the development of Internet in the modern world is, on the one hand, an important indicator of the economic development of the state, and at the same time, the driving force behind the economic progress. Services of fixed broadband become everyday welfare for the population and an integral tool of professional activity in many spheres. The Republic of Belarus, as a state integrated into the European and world digital ecosystem, cannot remain aloof from the global processes of the, in the field of ICT. The development of information society is one of the national priorities of the Republic of Belarus. We have several state programs and uh, the, the national digital agenda, which is set the key indicators we are going to achieve in the next five years. We have started uh, our programs several years ago, and now we have some achievements. You see this uh, ICT development index of the ITU, we are the 32nd in the world. And also, we are proud to be the 21st country in the ranking of the Commission for Fixed Broadband Access Index. Uh, so. Uh, on the next slide, you can see some figures about the broadband penetration from, with different technologies. Yeah. So, uh, we have around 3.8 million households in our country. So, the 3 million households is uh, fixed broadband houses. Uh, mobile penetration is better, but we are, if we are speaking about the technologies, everything is not so well for us. We think we can make better. So you see, when we have started our last program, uh, all the broadband, al almost 80% of the broadband was, was XDSL technologies, but for now we have 40% for XDSL and 40% for FTTH. It's a DuPont technology made by our national operator, the Bell Telecom Company. Uh, it, it was made by the state regulation from the one side. Also, the national uh, telecommunication opera operator, Bell Telecom, is a national company. It's 100% belongs to the state. And they are providing this national plan for broadband for everywhere in the country, for every city, not only the capital, but also for rural areas. And we are proud that for now we are more or less decrease this gap between the rural and urban areas. And uh, for the next stage, we are planning that in two years, we will have the 65% of FTT8 penetration in our country. And for such, not only the regulation needed from the state, but also some direct financing from the budget. But we, are, uh, we think that for Belarusian market, which is uh, underdeveloped, we can say, yeah, because in Belarus, the average ARPU is six euros per subscriber. So it's not a big money. So big companies don't come into the country and don't make in the big investment. So we are trying to do our best. From one side, stimulating the companies to invest more and providing some new opportunities for business, for private business. And from the other side, to make some KPIs for our Bell Telecom company to provide the better services for people everywhere in the country. So it's an international internet bandwidth. In Belarus, people like to use internet very much. So every year we need to make some additional capacity because people are open to 
foreign resources and they w want to use it in television also and in communication services. And so this is official ITU information and uh, some indicator we have set for the for current year and for 2020. And the overall goal of our country is to become a bit higher in the IDI rank in the world, so to, be, to become one of the top 30 countries in the world. So maybe that's all. Thank you for your attention. And I'd like only to add that we strongly believe that the future of broadband, of FTTH, is great and we are going to be part of it. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you have some questions, okay, answer. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. I think that we will have a lot of follow-up questions over lunch and over the coffee breaks, and I encourage you to ask questions because I think that it is a very interesting country case.